Well, it's a very encouraging rise in employment, showing uh, strong companies employing more people and basically a strong economy. And this is a strong country, which despite global turbulence, is managing to, to increase the employment rate. There's been a small rise in unemployment, which reflects the fact that more people are entering the market, getting ready for employment. So overall, both stats are good news. We're seeing more people exit the inactive side, becoming ready for employment, and we're seeing more people in employment. These are strong statistics which are good for the country. I mean a no-deal Brexit is definitely going to be a challenge for the economy which is why the government is putting together so much preparation should it come to that. I mean we're very clearly focused as a government that we want to get a deal. Well no I can tell that a no-deal Brexit would be far worse than a deal Brexit which is why the government is so focused on trying to get that. But we're also putting in place a lot of preparation to make sure that should it come to that we will have done all we can to mitigate against any difficulties. Well, in this job, everybody will launch some sort of criticism at whatever decision you made. I made a decision to back a candidate in the leadership race, which initially was Jeremy Hunt, who was very clear that we needed to have no deal as part of the armory in a negotiation. And having done that, I made my own decision to compromise on that basis and to go ahead. And then Prime Minister Boris Johnson put his own cabinet together.